I'm going to make a sculpty for Second Life in 3D code. The tools for doing that are broken. I think they've been broken for many years. Uh, however, I've found this workaround. You have to follow a very strict procedure uh, to make this work. Uh, it's going to be to look very convoluted. But I think it's worth it because, uh, well, you'll see. Um, it lets you use cool tools and export presets and whatever. Um, in the text, in the paint room here, that's where we start when we open uh, 3D code. You don't need the splash menu. In the texture menu, yeah, there is um, a export SL sculpt map item here, and this thing is going to work only once. Uh, if you save your file and reopen it, it won't work at all. Um, even if you didn't use it uh, in the original session. So you have to make sure that when you start this, you can go through the whole process uh, without having to uh, save and, and continue the next day or whatever. You have to make it in one go. But where you start in, is in the file menu, in import and import SL object. There you define the characteristics of your sculpty. I want a sphere and I want to use 32 because Second Life won't let you use anything higher anyway. That's the uh, resolution of the, the mesh, not the actual texture size uh, for the, um, the texturing, I mean. So I Click OK and nothing happens. That's the weirdness starting. You can see when I move my brush that the sphere is here, but you just can't see it. Very strange. I go to the file menu and export my uh, sphere. That's the first step. Um, let's call it sphere. I only need the OBJ, I don't need textures. And uh, I saved it here to my desktop. So next thing I want to do is to hide the SL object in paint objects. You don't see it, but it's here. I, I need to hide it for um, for later. Um, then I go to the Retopo room, and in the Retopo menu, I import the sphere that I just exported. And now you see it, you hit apply, and you don't want it snapped to reference mesh because there isn't any yet. And this is the Sculpty mesh, uh, the Sculpty sphere, I mean. And uh, you have to be very careful not to delete polygons or break it in some other way. One thing that can break it is symmetry, so you, you have to make sure at, uh, well, not, not now, but at the time of baking, you have to make sure that this is disabled. Um, so f for, for now, what I want to do is to shape the sphere, so I go to the sculpt room, where there is nothing. So I go to the geometry menu and, and take the retopo mesh as a sculpt mesh. So this is just a copy. This is uh, it, it, um, uh, I mean it's it, this mesh doesn't really matter. It's, it's just uh, something to sculpt on. So I increase the resolution and um, uh, I can use some regular uh, sculpting tools to, to um, sculpt on it. <laughs> um, 
but in that case when I go back to the retrieval room I see that um, the, the, the sculpt is different from the sphere so the, you use the brush here and you pr you just click to, to make it snap or you can press shift and this will relax the mesh and and also make it snap or you can give more uh, polygons to this to this area uh, I mean you could do this right and take your time to to make it fit better but I'm just I just want to show the process I don't want to sh make anything that I'm going to use or anything. Anyway, let's go back to the sculpt room and yeah, I want to show you two really neat tools that you can use um, to, to make that sculpty. Uh, it's the move tool and the pose tool. Um, and those are really neat because they have this tick box here conform retopo mesh when it's enabled if I move the sculpt when I uh, release um, the the retopo mesh that's our sculpty uh, follows the, the the sculpt well as best as, as best it can given that there are not many polygons um, and, uh, you can always go back and forth between the uh, retopo room and the sculpt room to, to make it uh, fit better uh, so the, the other nice tool is the pose tool uh, there are many ways to make uh, se selections like the line or you can change here I press uh, my uh, shortcut uh, you, you could clear the selections uh, somewhere here uh, clear selection I just use the short, shortcut for that uh, you, you could use a rectangle tool here to, to select uh, uh, an area uh, let's do that here and use the gizmo to to pose it um, and then as I said back and forth between the retopo room and the sculpt room to make to make it fit better and uh, well, of course, if it's a sculpty, you don't want it to to remain uh, a sphere. Otherwise, what's the point? But uh, I just don't have <laughs> any idea of uh, something I want to make. Uh, I, I just want to show the process. Uh, Another thing I can do is, well, maybe smooth it. Uh, is choose a, a shader. I'll use one of mine, uh, this one, and edit current object shader settings. Yeah, to to give it some cracks and bumps because the shader is going to be baked on the sculpty. So I go to the retopo room and I check that symmetry is not enabled and well I can brush it around a little uh, more where it doesn't fit. And now I go to the bake menu, bake with normal map and I might need to adjust uh, the shell this is the outer shell, I just click here and drag and that's the inner shell just to have to make sure that uh, 
it's not poking through like here and then, then I just click OK and now it warns me that there is already an object called um, SL object 0 in the paint room and uh, it asks me if I want to delete the duplicated object and yes I do that's the one I hid at the beginning the one I imported from the file menu and um, here I just click OK once it's baked in the Vox tree here I need to hide with to uh, press the I icon to hide the, the uh, high poly and now I go to the paint room and here is my uh, sculpty so I have a bug here I don't know if you'll encounter in other versions but uh, it won't let me paint so if I want to paint uh, I'll need to save and reopen the file but I told you that I can't do that at least I can't do that until I export the Sculpty so that's what I'm going to do I go to the texture menu and uh, export SL Sculpt Map so this time it opens the, the file browser, browser and when it doesn't work it just won't do anything if I try to, it, to do it again after this it won't work it works just once um, let's call it test and go check on my desktop and there it is we have our sculpt map that's the most important I guess so let's just uh, save uh, this and um, close 3d code and reopen it that's because of that bug that won't let me paint and I go to the paint room and uh, now I can paint so, uh, I guess it's a sort of smiley thing that got in a fight or something uh, it's got the mouth and I want to give it uh, eyes and I, I can use the opportunity to show you, you another uh, another trick I want my eyes to be um, uh, glowing in Second Life. So, uh, what I I do to achieve this in 3D code is just a few clicks. Is make this new layer that I created by pressing this button. I make it uh, use as emissive. And now when I export my object. Well, I already exported the sculpt map. That's what I need. But here I, I want to export the textures, the materials. Uh, so I don't need to export the geometry. I only need to select my uh, uh, Second Life preset, which has the uh, diffuse and um, I want to change this to uh, RGBA because as alpha I'm going to choose emissive power mono and that's going to export uh, just the eyes here in the alpha of the, uh, diff of the diffuse uh, so I have my normal map and for the specular I don't I just need RGB and I want glossiness but I want to make sure that I have selected gloss metalness here and I just press OK and here are my textures my materials for SL so let's go to Second Life and um, upload the sculpt map start uh, where is it where is it uh, it's a B test BMP 
and I need to say that it's a sculpted print. So I just create a print here and uh, edit object tab uh, sculpted and here I just drag my texture and wait for it to load and there it is you recognize the smile here uh, let's upload the um, textures and materials that's the diffuse which I uh, set let later uh, normal map as picker uh, I go back to diffuse and now I can choose emissive mask and make it glow Uh, so I guess uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure you can make something more exciting with this technique. Uh, and is the advantage I think is uh, how simple it is to create the um, the textures and, and and the way you can use the uh, sculpt tools in in the sculpt room of the 3D code and um, well I hope this will be useful for someone. Bye!